Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. I am so excited, I must admit, my heart skipped a beat when I heard that the Lego Elves series was going to be releasing a whole heap of dragons. Oh my goodness, they are so beautiful. So I got my hands on these as soon as I could, as soon as they're released. And the first one that I'm opening up is the Fire Dragon's Lava Cave with Azari Fire Dancer, the Fire Elf. And it's got Emily Jones in it. And best of all, it has got a dragon. Look at that wing component and the head. And there are two books and there's some little stickers in here. And let's just get started. It's very exciting. <laughs> so first up, we have got Azari Fire Dancer. She gets a completely new outfit for this season, for the second season, the second wave of the Lego Elves release. And um, I think that her face looks a bit different. Let's have a look to the first season. Uh, the tattoo on her forehead appears to be more pronounced and she definitely seems to have more lipstick on. She must need more lipstick for whatever adventure she's out on this time. But she looks great. I really love the elves, the whole concept of the elves. Well, here's Emily Jones and she gets some bright red sneakers for this, love it. And she's got her grandmother's amulet on and she's just got a slight variation on her outfit from last time. But she is still dressed for adventuring. So she and Azari Fire Dancer are going to head over here so that we can start building the fire dragon. Zonia the fire dragon is the first one we are going to meet in this series. And the people at Lego have done a brilliant job designing this. She's just beautiful. She's got all these rounded edges. We need to make the structure first so that you can have a look what she looks like on the inside, the structure on the inside. And there's a lot of bright, fiery orange and fabulous strong fuchsia pink to make up the colors for Zonia, Zonia the fire dragon. She's just perfect. They really are just fantastic. <laughs> do you think I might like them? I really do. I am absolutely in love with these dragons. I'm enamored with them. They are just beautiful. <laughs> so here we have got the component which will connect the wings. And this goes on one side and we have a matching one on the other side. At the moment you really have to use your imagination to, to imagine that this is a body of a dragon. But you will see. You will see. We have to start bit by bit, brick by brick, and build her up. So here we have our first sticker. This is some of Zonia the Fire Dragon's distinctive markings. And this plate here goes, hold on, it's in the wrong spot. There we go. It's facing the front. So I think it's just behind the head. I'm not 100% sure, but you will see these stickers a few times. And here, look, we have got seating. Okay, so it's not behind the head. It's just, <laughs> it's just behind the tail. We've got seating for a couple of characters. And look at this, the girls have gone for a spin. A spin around to show us how they're going to go on the dragon. Now it doesn't look anything like a dragon at the moment. At the moment it just looks like some sort of strange lumpy boat or f I don't know. It doesn't look like anything. Here's the front plate. So that's the chest, the chest area of the dragon. And now we get to put on, um, this is the neck, the neck here. And I think we might be starting on bag two. Yes, we are. So hop off girls. Pop off Azari and Emily and move over because even though this doesn't look like much at the moment, we are about to put on some limbs. So this part here is the very end, the flick of Zonia's tail. Each of these dragons have got a signature distinctive tail flourish on the end and they really are... Oh, <laughs> I, I just, I really love them and I think I probably said that too much. But look, see, look, jeweled all the way along with a fiery pink fuchsia flourish on the end and that tail's gonna be dangerous because it just knocked Emily Jones over as we were pushing it back again. So we're gonna have to remember to keep that tail out of the way. <laughs> Here we've got another limb. This is one of Zonia's four legs. Obviously she's a dragon so she needs four legs. Now it doesn't look much like a leg at the moment but you'll see. You'll see there's some little feathery sort of detail, maybe fur detail. I don't know that um there we go, yeah, I missed a piece, there we go, didn't look quite right. And I've put them on the front, and you know what? I think they belong in the back. Yes, yes, no, these are the back legs. There we go, and once again, they still don't look like much. See, look, they've got these knobbly balls on the end, but that's okay, because we're going to make some clawed feet now for Zonia the Fire Dragon. And we need another one of our stickers to put her cool markings on. There we go. Now it looks like a leg with a foot and claws on it. 
You can have a matching one for the other side. And now you need some front legs, so let's build them. Each of these legs, yeah no, we don't put the flame one on there. Each of these legs are on a ball joint so they can move forwards and backwards and they've got just the tiniest bit of motion inwards and outwards. So you can do a great deal of fun posing with these dragons. You wait, so we got one front leg, we need the other one and we now, no hold on, those colours don't match. Sorry girls, <laughs> they were the victims of the tails again. Now we've got two pink dots on the front legs so that's good. We now need some claws some feet, some paws and claws, front paw, other front paw. Now we're starting to take some shape here. So as I said, they move forwards, back, outwards a little bit. We can sit her up, we can lie her down, we can stand her up, we can pose her, we can fly her. We are going to have so much fun with her. Now the head. We've got this awesome headpiece one entire mold which comes with a jaw which I put on upside down which would be very uncomfortable for her so let's get that in there and it's on a ratchet so when you open and shut it goes click 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 so it's quite firm to open and shut it's not a not a loose jaw there so there's her headpiece She's got ears and everything involved in here but she gets some pink horns rubbery horns quite hard to to shove in here but that's all right we'll, we'll shove them hard and they will get in there they will stay in there Perfect, very nice. And on the top, she gets some more jewel decoration. And on the bottom, she needs a ball joint so that we can connect that to her neck there. And her head now is poseable too. So check this out. Look, head goes up, head goes down, goes from side to side, just a little bit of movement from side to side. Well, there we go. That is Zonya. She needs something else though, can you tell? I'm too busy having fun posing her here. You can, you can see that I'm gonna have the best time with this dragon, but she still needs some wings. Okay, I know girls, come on. Can you stop playing on poor paws on ya? I wanna finish her up. You stay up there, all right. So we'll put her wings on. These are fantastic. One whole piece, rubbery, beautiful color variations. It's, I just love it just fantastic and they just go up and down they've got they're attached here by the little cylinders and they go up and down as does her tail I'd like to be able to angle them forwards and backwards but you can't have everything <laughs> well I'll just play with her as is she's just fantastic so that's Zonya though she has she's missing one thing in her mouth she's got a little spot here for a holding stud there, and she gets her fiery flame tongue. Look at that, sticking out of her mouth. So now she's finished, and the girls are on her back, and she's entirely poseable, and I just adore her. Tail goes up, tail goes down. She can lean forward so the girls can jump on her head on and off, and she is off for her first flight. There we go, ooh, she's flying around, oh my goodness. And she's coming into land, squeak to a stop. <laughs> there we go. Because we need to stop mucking about with Sonia. Hop off. Hop off. Oh, actually, look at that. Cool. She can ride on the back here on the little studs on the back. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. We now need to open bag three, though, because it's not all about the dragon. We have to do a lava cave as well to go with the story. First up, we get a marshmallow. Well, Emily Jones gets a marshmallow, and she's going to get Zonya to toast that for <laughs> while we build while we build the campfire. Look, what is what does she need a campfire for? We've got Zonya the fire dragon, but I do like the campfire. Look at those little mossy rounds. They're so pretty. Little bits of fiery embers on the bottom to pop our campfire cross on, and there's the flame. There we go. Now you can toast it over here. I think Zonya looks a bit sad. She'd like to be. She'd like to join in too. There, if we move it over there, everyone can join in while we build the next piece. Now this is an interesting part of the story development here. You just wait, you can't tell what it is yet, but you'll see. And this is cool, look at that. We've got bright poisonous green and beautiful clear blue. This is a movable piece with a green crystal on the end. And it's now trapped in there by those green archways, so that's perfect. And we build up the back. This is a fountain, or a well, I suppose. And when we pull it out, 
it goes from bright green, poisonous green, back to a healthy, uh, clean blue water. At the moment in the bucket, it's poisonous green and poor, poor Zonya cannot drink from, from the well anymore, from the fountain. So these girls are gonna need to do something to fix that. I hope they know what to do. There's also this very magical looking piece on the top. With its, once again, those green horns. I've got to imagine that, look at that, and those black flourishes there. Got to imagine from the look of this that it is not a good thing, that it is something that's bad and makes it poisonous. So let's put this sticker on here. And when we put it on here, the machine is activated. I can't decide, oh, we've activated, look, see? And now it is, oh, <laughs> I can't decide whether we're turning it into poisonous or whether we're making it into nice clear water. But it's certainly an awesome element to play with. Now we've got one more major piece here and it is really, really detailed and pretty. So the lava cave has got these lava pieces full flowing over the edge and the dark gray is obviously the rock cave and we've got some moss and some flowers growing on the edge there. The light gray is just for lovely variation with the dark gray and green for the grass and the moss. It all just looks too idyllic and beautiful. And Azari has just stepped into the lava flow, but I think she'll be okay because she is a fire elf, so she is in control of this. <laughs> There's a cute little archway there, which Sonia just tried to stick her tongue through. And on here, we've got a little lizard or a gecko. I think it, oh, is it a fire salamander? What do you think? Could you tell me in the comments? Do you think I might be right? Do you think it might be a fire salamander? Wouldn't that be cool? And they've got a couple of little spots here where they can rest their heads. Some mossy beds. There. Try them out, girls. Oh, they all fell off. <laughs> we might need to finish them first. <laughs> you can try them out later. Got more building to do. No resting. No time for resting. <laughs> some very pretty pink foliage now. And I'm sure we will be adding some gems and crystals to this because that is such a huge part of the elf of the elf style. I love it, love it so much. Now this is another sliding piece with the red fire element on it, which means that Azari is gonna be able to control this fire element, this lava flow into the, into the cave. There we go, look, see, she's done it. Yay, through she goes, but I think, yep, Emily, she shut that, she shut Emily Jones on the other side of the cave. So that's not very friendly. So Emily Jones is gonna jump up and down on the moss beds while we <laughs> finish building up. I love these little tiny magical mushrooms. I have to move the big one to put the baby one in next to it. Oh, they are so sweet. There's some more larval flow down here. Now you're not gonna fit, you're not gonna be able to get, you did get out that way, but I think you cheated. <laughs> but you don't actually fit through there, Emily Jones. So that archway must just be for, I don't know, maybe for little animals. Here's a beautiful bright pink crystal. And it moves, it's on a hinge. So it moves up and down. Another one in the front. And that's right next to that little bit of lava flow. And here on the top, we've got some more green mossy bits flowing down. And some more pink foliage and some cherries. <laughs> and we also need a larval flow down the side of the cave. There. That is fantastic. And a little dot on the top to seal it all in. I adore this detail. It is just phenomenal. And we get a brand new map for this second season because they have got a brand new quest to fulfill. So it is now hiding inside the cave, ready for the girls to come and find it. So this is the whole set built with the gorgeous fire dragon and the lava cave and the shadow fountain. I think we're gonna be hard pressed to keep these girls off this fire dragon. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. What a gorgeous dragon. Aha, here they are. They have arrived at the lava cave, but they can't get through. Ah, oh, there we go! Azari has used her magic powers and through they go. I hope Emily doesn't burn her feet. And they have found the new map that they need to fulfill their quest to rescue the, the queen dragon. But here's Zonya the fire dragon. She's telling the girl something. Uh, not sure. Oh, yes, I know what it is. 
it's that, yes, that her fountain has been poisoned. So we're going to need to use some magic to fix this so that Zonya can drink freely again from the shadow fountain. There we go. Now it is clear, beautiful, fresh blue water for Zonya to drink. There, problem fixed. All we needed was a little magic. <laughs> So they, before they go off on the rest of their adventure, they're going to stop here in the lava cave for a while. And they'll share some toasted marshmallows with Zonya, and then they'll have a little sleep by the campfire so that they're all fresh to set off in the morning because they have got some very serious, important quests to fulfill. <laughs> so here they have go. Here we go. Zonya's off. And they're up in the sky and they're coming back through again. <laughs> and around they go again. Oh my goodness, this is so much fun. We can fly the dragons and we can pose her and, and Zari's coming down. And I think we might be done for now because I have to take this dragon away and fly her around the house. <laughs> there we go. That's the whole set. Oh my goodness, a dragon. Do you love the Lego Elves Dragons? Please let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that thumbs up button if you want to see more and I will see you again really, really soon.